Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. In the spotlight tonight are Sam Stolkart Yarwood, a business analyst whose specialist subject is Tchaikovsky. T. Marja Roebuck, an audit manager who will be answering questions on the Evil Dead trilogy. Stephen Fuller, a musician whose subject is Rafael Nadal. And Alison Lyndon Parker, an operations manager. Her subject, This Country. <laughs> Tonight, again, four contenders will take the lonely walk to the black chair. What unites them is that they all want to become the nation's mastermind. What will divide them is their ability, when they are sitting in the chair, to remember an awful lot of stuff under an awful lot of pressure. As usual, two and a half minutes on general knowledge and two minutes on their chosen subject. In the glare of the spotlight with precious little time to think. So, let's ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Sam Stolkart Yarwood. Your occupation? Business analyst. And your chosen subject? Tchaikovsky. In two minutes, starting now, from 1862, Tchaikovsky was taught by the pianist, composer and conductor Anton Rubinstein at the Conservatoire in which city? St. Petersburg. Yep. In 1864, while he was on holiday in Ukraine, Tchaikovsky wrote an overture to a play by Alexander Ostrovsky. What was the title of both the overture and the play? Uh, the Storm. Yep. Tchaikovsky's opus numbers 20, 66 and 71 are his only compositions in what genre? Ballet. Yep. One of the first public performances of a composition by Tchaikovsky was conducted by the waltz king Johann Strauss the Younger in 1865. Tchaikovsky would later use music from this work in his opera The Voyevoda. What was the title of the work? Uh, pass. Tchaikovsky's famous first piano concerto was premiered in 1875 with Hans von Bülow at the piano. In the second movement, which instrument plays the main melody before the piano enters? A clarinet. Flute. In 1877, Tchaikovsky entered into a short-lived and ill-advised marriage as depicted in the 1971 Ken Russell film The Music Lovers. What was the maiden name of his wife? Uh, Antonina Malikova. Yes. In the ballet The Nutcracker, based on a story by E.T.A. Hoffman, there are three dances entitled Waltz. In Act Two, there's the Waltz of the Flowers and the final waltz. Which waltz precedes these in Act One? Um, oh, pass. The first performance of a fantasy overture by Tchaikovsky took place in Moscow in 1870. Although the premiere was not a success, the piece has since become one of his most popular works. What's its title? Um, Francesca de Rimini. Romeo and Juliet. In 1875, Tchaikovsky wrote of his first ballet, Swan Lake, I took this work on partly for the money which I need and partly because I have long wanted to try my hand at writing this type of music. The letter was written to a fellow composer. What was his name? Uh, Balakarev? Rimsky Korsakov. One of Tchaikovsky's younger brothers published a three volume biography of the composer between 1900 and 1902. What was his name? Modest. Yeah. From 1877 till 1890, I started so I should finish, a wealthy widow provided Tchaikovsky with an allowance which meant that he was free to compose on a full time basis, and they exchanged hundreds of letters over the years. What was her name? Nadezhda von Mack. It was indeed. Uh, you had two passes, Sam. The Waltz of the Snowflakes was the other one. And um, that piece that Tchaikovsky would use in his opera, The Voyevoda, was the characteristic dances. Yeah. There we go. Um, you've scored six points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? T. Major Roebuck. Your occupation? Audit manager. And your chosen subject? Sam Raimi's The Evil Dead trilogy. Ah, the horror film was released in the 80s and 90s. Here we go. The character Ash appears in all three Evil Dead films and he's played by a high school friend of the director, Sam Raimi. What's his name? Bruce Campbell. Yep. The premiere of the first Evil Dead film was held at the Redford Theatre in Detroit in 1981. At the time, the film had a different title. What title? The Book of the Dead. Yep. When Ash goes to look for Scott in the cellar in The Evil Dead, Scott jumps out and scares him, then shows him a number of items he's found. On the wall behind him is a torn poster for a horror film. What film? The Hills Have Eyes. Yes. A four-minute trailer was made to help raise money to complete production of The Evil Dead. Which actor provided the narration for this trailer? 
Bob Dorian. John Cameron. The filmmakers struggled to find distribution for the first film in the trilogy, so they screened it for a veteran distributor who told them, it's your lucky day, boys. It's not gone with the wind, but I think I can make you some money. He also persuaded them to change the film's title to The Evil Dead. What was his name? Irvin Shapiro. Yep. The character of Linda, Ash's girlfriend, is played by a different actress in each film. She's played by Betsy Baker in the first film, then by Denise Bixler in the first sequel. Who plays her in Army of Darkness? Bridget Fonda. Yep. In Evil Dead 2, Annie arrives by plane with pages from the Book of the Dead. She's met by Ed and they drive to the cabin in the woods. What's the name of the airline she flies with? Dodd's Pacific. Huntley Air. At the beginning of Army of Darkness, Ash has been magically transported back to medieval England where he's been captured and put in chains. He speaks in voiceover and says, my name is Ash and I am a what? Idiot. Slave. An early fan of the Evil Dead was an American author who saw it at the Cannes Film Festival. He wrote a review in Twilight Zone magazine in which he called it the most ferociously original horror film of 1982. He also helped Raimi find a backer for the sequel. Which author? Stephen King. Yes. On the set of The Evil Dead, a local man helped the crew find a house to stay in and his mother-in-law made them a Thanksgiving meal. He was listed as assistant producer in the film's credits. What was his name? <sighs> Bob. Gary uh, Holt. Yeah. Yeah. And your time is up. Uh, no passes. Six points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Stephen Fuller. Your occupation? Musician. And your chosen subject? Raphael Nadal. Ah, Nadal, one of the greats. Here we go. When Nadal started playing tennis at the age of four, he was coached by a family member whom he describes as the toughest of tennis coaches and usually the last person in the world to offer me consolation. What's his name? Tony Nadal. Yep. At the age of 18, Nadal helped Spain defeat the USA in the 2004 Davis Cup final by winning his singles match against an American player who was ranked second in the world at the time and had beaten him at that year's US Open. Which player was it? Andy Roddick. Yep. Nadal's first ATP tour match against his great rival Roger Federer was in 2004, and he won it in straight sets. At which tournament? Miami. Yep. In his autobiography, Rafa, My Story, Nadal names a golfer as the closest I've come to an idol and says it's because of his clear-headedness, his determination, his attitude. Which golfer? Tiger Woods. Yep. What's the name of Nadal's hometown on the island of Mallorca? He opened a tennis academy there in 2016. Manacor. Correct. The phrase Nadal uses for his feeling on winning his first Wimbledon title in 2008 is also the title of the chapter in his autobiography which describes the decisive fifth set of the final. He called the feeling an invasion of the... Pass. In 2010, Nadal appeared as Shakira's love interest in the music video for one of her songs. What's the title of the song? Gypsy. Yeah. Which ATP Masters tournament did Nadal win for the first time in 2005? He then successfully defended the title each year until 2013, when he lost to Novak Djokovic in the final. Monte Carlo. Yeah. Nadal has a medical condition that affects one of the tarsal bones in his left foot, which makes it prone to injury. He refers to it as my own unique version of the Achilles heel, the most vulnerable part of my body. What is the bone? Metatarsal? The scaphoid, the tarsal scaphoid bone. Raphael Maimo became Nadal's physical therapist early in his career. What is Nadal's nickname for him? Tintin. Say it again. Tintin. Tintin. Nadal lost at the French Open for the first time in 2009 when he was knocked out in the fourth round by a player who went on to reach the final. Which player? Robin Sodling. Yes. Uh, one pass to end that phrase that Nadal used. The feeling of winning the championship was a feeling of purest joy. That one pass, Stephen, you have eight points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Alison Lyndon Parker. Your occupation? Uh, operations manager. And your chosen subject? This country. 
a BAFTA-winning BBC sort of mock documentary sitcom about life in a quiet Cotswold village. Here we go, two minutes. The show's creators, Daisy May and Charlie Cooper, are brother and sister in real life. What's the relationship of their characters, Kerry and Curtin Mucklow? Cousins. Yep. In the opening scene of the first episode, Kerry and Curtin are at a bus stop and discuss a celebrity they saw in the co-op, whom they describe as so humble. Which celebrity? Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. Yep. Much of the series centres on Kerry and Curtin and their relationship with the local vicar, the Reverend Francis Seaton, played by Paul Shahidi. What's the name of his church? St Mary's. Yep. In the vicar's son, Jacob reveals that his father, the Reverend Seaton, had been the lead singer in a Christian boy band in the 1980s. What was the name of the band? The Nice Guys. Yeah. What's the name of the executive producer of the series? He's also produced other BBC comedy shows, such as Mrs Brown's Boys and Two Pints of Lager and a Packet of Crisps. Simon Mayhew Archer. Stephen McCrum. Curtin's disappointed after his meeting with his long-lost school friend Robert Robinson. He says, some things are best left in the past where they belong. You've just got to live in the moment because while you're pining for Noel Edmonds' house party, you're missing out on... Alan Carr's chatty man. Yes. What film is shown at the Vicar's Cinema Night in the episode Random Acts of Kindness? Kerry volunteers as security for the event. Greece. Yep. In the one-off special, The Aftermath, Kerry discovers her father had been a member of a biker gang. Kerry wears a leather jacket with the name of the gang on the back. What was the name of the gang? Satan's Fingers. Yes. Which television show is Kerry watching at the start of the episode? Cynthia Daisy May Cooper appeared on the celebrity version of it in 2020. Gogglebox. Yep. What's the name of the company that Kerry's persuaded to invest in and whose health drink she has to try to sell? After she discovers how bad it tastes, she refuses to drink it herself and explains, I don't drink my own juice. Frey Bentos doesn't eat his own pies. Eternal vitality. Yes. In family loyalties, Kerry innocently stores stolen vacuum cleaners for her dad, Martin, who tries to persuade her to confess to the crime herself. What's the name of the police officer he tells her to speak to? Officer Morrison. Webber. Throughout the series, Kerry's mum, Sue, is never seen, but is often heard shouting from her bedroom. Her voice is provided by Daisy May Cooper, who is listed under a different name for the role in the closing credits. What name? Ivy Woodcock. Is correct. You had no passes, Alison. You've scored ten points. Thank you. Well, pretty close round that. Let's have a look at all the scores in... Joint third place, six points apiece, Sam and T. Second place with eight points, Stephen. First place, ten points, Alison. So, now it is the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. So, let's ask Sam to join us again, please. And, Sam, you start out with six points, but you have two and a half minutes to uh, overtake the field. Here we go with your general knowledge. In freight transport, what does the abbreviation HGV stand for? Heavy goods vehicle. Yeah, which member of the British royal family was co-author, together with Ian Skelly and Tony Juniper, of the 2010 environmental book Harmony, A New Way of Looking at Our World? Um... Which is Cambridge. Prince Charles, what classic cocktails made with vodka, triple sec, lime juice and cranberry juice? It was a favourite of the main characters in the television series Sex and the City. Cosmopolitan. Yeah. What French word from a verb that means to apply is also used in English for a technique of sewing pieces of fabric onto a larger piece to make a decorative pattern? Applique. Yep. In March 2016, a landmark was reached in the field of artificial intelligence when a computer defeated the Grandmaster Lee Sedol at which strategy game? Go. Yep. What term from the Latin for what number refers to a government-imposed limit on the amount of goods allowed into a country? Pass. In June 2020, an American singer topped the UK albums chart for the fourth time with a release entitled Chromatica. What's her name? Lady Gaga. Yep. What name from the Spanish for wine cellar is given to a compact convenience store, typically one in New York City? Bodega? Yeah. A small prominence called Darwin's tubercle, thought to be a vestige from a remote human ancestor, can sometimes be found on which external organs? Yes. Yeah. Aston Merigold, who won the 2018 Strictly Come Dancing Christmas special, rose to fame as a member of a pop group who were the runners-up on The X Factor ten years previously. What group? JLS. Correct. What name, the garlic for black knife, is given to the short dagger often worn as part of traditional Highland dress? It's usually tucked into the stocking. Scabbard. Skay and do. 
What was the name of the nationalist resistance movement that opposed British colonial rule in Kenya in the 1950s, as it then was? It was formed by members of the Kikuyu people. Masai Mara. The Mau Mau. Which Italian composer wrote the musical scores for the Sergio Leone films Once Upon a Time in the West and Once Upon a Time in America? Ennio Morricone. Yep. On a golf course, the area of smooth, closely mown grass surrounding a hole is known by what name? Green. It's also a colour. Green, yes. A television cookery show which originally ran from 1994 to 2010, first presented by Fern Britton and then Ainsley Harriet, was revived in 2020, presented by Ryland Clark Neal. What was the title of the show? Ready, steady, cook. Yep. Purim, Sukkot and Hanukkah are festivals celebrated by followers of which religion? Uh, Judaism. Judaism is correct. Sam, you had one pass. The term from the Latin for what number was quota. Quota. <laughs> uh, you have scored a total now, however, of 18 points. <laughs> and now let's ask T to join us again, please. Right, T, you uh, have six points as we start, and the score to beat at the moment is 18, and you have two and a half minutes in which to do that. Here we go. In a landmark speech in 1987, Ronald Reagan urged the Soviet leader, Mikhail Gorbachev, to tear down this wall. At which wall? Berlin. Yep. What adjective, which can mean secret or mysterious, is commonly applied to crossword puzzles with clues that rely on wordplay? Cryptic. Yep. Which chart-topping band was formed in the early 2000s with Alex Turner as lead singer and his friend Jamie Cook as a guitarist? War blood. Arctic monkeys. What's the term for an examination of a company's accounts by outside specialists to ensure they comply with legal requirements and public standards? External audit. The first line of a well-known Christian hymn written in the 19th century features the words, Fast falls the even tide. Which hymn? Pass. In the 2020 film The Personal History of David Copperfield, the title character is played by an actor who'd previously starred in Slumdog Millionaire and Lion. Which actor? Pass. What species of falcon is Britain's smallest bird of prey? Its common name is also that of a character in Arthurian legend. Lancelot. Merlin. What television cartoon first broadcast in 1999 was created by the former marine biologist Stephen Hillenburg? It's named after the title character who lives in an underwater city. Stingray. SpongeBob SquarePants. Which Greek mathematician and philosopher was killed in 212 BC when the city of Syracuse was captured by Roman forces? Among his many achievements was the discovery of the principle of water displacement. Sophocles. Archimedes. The 18th century painter Joseph Wright is commonly known as Wright of which English city? Leeds. Derby. The Greek goddess of victory is often depicted as a winged figure who carries a wreath as a symbol of success. What's her name? Athena. Nike. The punctuation mark known in North America as a period has a different name in Britain. What name? Full stop. Yeah. What sport played mainly in the Scottish Highlands is a ball game for two teams of 12 players equipped with hooked sticks called camons. It has the same historical roots as the Irish sport of hurling. Pass. The conductor, Sir George Salty, was given an honorary knighthood in 1971 and took British citizenship the following year. His birthplace is which European country? France. Hungary. The 16th century church in Moscow's Red Square, noted for its distinctive onion domes, is sometimes called the Pokrovsky Cathedral, but is better known by another name in honor of a Russian saint. Which saint? Petersburg. <sighs> now, Saint Basil. You have uh, three passes. Shinty is that a sport played mainly in the Scottish Highlands. Dev Patel played the title character in Slumdog Millionaire, and Fast Falls the Even Tide is Abide With Me. You have a total now of 10 points. Thank you. And now Stephen again, please. And Stephen, you start out with eight points. The score to beat still is 18. Here we go. What unit used to measure the relative intensity of sounds has a name that's often abbreviated to the letters DB? 
Dusty Bells. Yep. What's the occupation of the character played by Andrew Scott in the BBC television series Fleabag? The role earned him a Golden Globe nomination in 2020. Teacher? A priest. The word lock, spelled L-O-X, is used in chemistry to mean the liquid form of which element? Oxygen. Yes. Gustation is an alternative term for one of the five human senses. Which one? Taste. Yes. Which film studios in Boreham Wood in Hertfordshire provided the production location for the Star Wars and Indiana Jones films of the 1970s and 80s? Healing. L Street. Which prolific American inventor is quoted as saying, genius is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration? Edison. Yep. Which successful video game franchise has editions called Brotherhood, Revelations and Black Flag? In its first edition in 2007, the protagonist, Desmond Miles, uses genetic memory to travel back to the Crusader States. Pass. The 1902 poem, Sea Fever, opens with the lines, I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea and the sky. It was written by which future poet laureate? Betjeman. Macefield. In June 2019, Katie Taylor became the first Irish person to hold all four major world titles in what sport? Squash. Boxing. In an 1879 play by Henrik Ibsen, the seemingly happy marriage of Torvald and Nora Helmer falls apart when it's revealed that she has committed fraud. What's the title of the play? Pass. Which of the seven wonders of the ancient world was destroyed by an earthquake around 225 BC? It had been a statue of the sun god Helios. Colossus of Rhodes? Yes. A type of suspended bed in the form of a canvas sheet was attached at each end to an upright, such as a tree, is known by a name derived from a word of Spanish Caribbean origin. What name? Hammock. Yes. The largest living species of fish has the scientific name Rincodon typus. What is its common name? Whale shark. Yes, a long-running programme on Radio 2 often features live performances by the BBC Concert Orchestra. According to its title, which night of the week is Music Night? Friday night. Yeah. What name is given to Sicilian pastries made from fried cylindrical shells, which are usually filled with sweetened ricotta? The name translates from Italian as little tubes. Pass. Which German city stands at the confluence of the rivers Rhine and Moselle? It's on the site of the ancient Roman fort town of Confluentes. Pass. According to tradition, which of the apostles is the author of the fourth gospel of the New Testament? Luke. No, John. John. Yes. Um, four passes. Koblenz is that German city standing at the confluence of the Rhine and Moselle. Cannoli is the Sicilian pastries, which you have now remembered. <laughs> Doll's House was Ibsen's play. Yep. And Assassin's Creed was that um, successful video game franchise. You have now, Stephen, a total of 16 points. And finally, Alison again, please. And Alison, you start out with 10 points. The score that still has to be beaten is 18 if you are to get into the semi finals. So here we go. Anne Hathaway was the wife of which famous English dramatist? Uh, Shakespeare. Yes. A famous 24 hour endurance race for sports cars was first held in 1923 in a city in northwestern France. Which city? Le Mans. Yep. A BAFTA winning stand up comedian and former judge on Britain's Got Talent is the host of his self titled Big Show, a television series which began in 2016. What's his name? Michael McIntyre. Yep. The abbreviation PPM denotes a unit of concentration typically used to quantify substances present in very small amounts. What do the letters PPM stand for in this context? Peace per minute. Parts per million. A British weekly equestrian magazine, first published in 1884, takes its title from a line in the poem The Good Grey Mare by George White Melville. Which magazine? Horse and Hound. Yes. What's the name of the Russian space station that orbited the Earth from 1986 to 2001? Its name can be translated as peace or world. Sputnik. Mia. The term veteran is used in Britain to describe a car built before 1905. What term is correspondingly used to refer to a car built between 1919 and 1930? New. Vintage. Which female superhero has the alter egos Kathy Kane and Kate Kane? She first appeared in DC Comics in 1956. Wonder Woman. Batwoman. Which Canadian economist and former governor of the Bank of Canada served as governor of the Bank of England from 2013 to 2020? Mark Carney. Yes. What's the name of the dark pigment that occurs in the skin, hair and eyes? An increase in this substance leads to a tan when skin is exposed to sunlight. 
melanin. Yes. In 2018, Giuseppe Conte was sworn in as the Prime Minister of a European country as the leader of a coalition government. Which country? Italy. Yep. A French term usually translated as stroke of mercy originally referred to the death blow given to someone in agony or mortally wounded, but now means any decisive act or blow. What term? Pass. Which cape is the southernmost point of the African continent? Its name is the Portuguese word for needles. Horn. Agolas, what's the name of the Greek counterpart of the Roman god Mercury, the messenger of the gods? He was the son of Zeus and Maya. Hermes. Yep. In the opening line of a novel first published in 1719, the title character introduces himself with the words, I was born in the year 1632 in the city of York of a good family. Which character? Silas Marner. Robinson Crusoe. According to the titles of a 1998 song by the electronic group Faithless and a 2004 hit for the singer Pink, God is a what? Woman. DJ, what Japanese word for a packed lunch can refer to the items of food such as rice, fish and vegetables included in it or the decorated wooden box that contains it? Bento. Is correct. We've had one pass, that uh, French term usually translated as stroke of mercy, coup de grace, but... Your very last answer gave you a total of 19 points. Well, she just got there in the end. Let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place, with 10 points, T. Third place, 16 points, Stephen. Second place, with 18 points, Sam. First place, with 19 points, Alison which means that Alison goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. And thanks for watching. Goodbye. I felt absolutely terrified and I thought I might forget how to walk and talk at one point. So, in fact, I'm standing here talking to you. It's quite miraculous. I applied for the show because I was sitting at home watching Mastermind with my son and I was commenting on how you don't see women, especially women of a certain age, hugely often on TV. And my son really encouraged me and said, OK, fine, put your money where your mouth is. Why don't you apply for it? No passes, Alison. You've scored 10 points. Thank you. It's really nice to actually do something that you want to do for yourself. So wish my competitors well, but it is quite delightful that I have one. First place with 19 points, Alison. So I'm going to have to start revising all over again for my next subject. Because my son encouraged me to apply, I think he's going to be really shocked, really surprised, and probably quite mortified that I'll be uh, coming back again.